Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. Now, I did promise this video earlier. This is the one about Keith Brown, although you've probably worked that out from the thumbnail and the title. But we are going to look at the strange inner workings of this delusional, probably insane man. Now, we automatically don't believe anything he says because obviously he's SMP and virtually every SMP person who ever speaks lies. But we, we're not here to question his honesty. I think we're here to question his sanity. Because what he said today is purely insane. It's so delusional. It's so wrong that it can't be the, the process. This cannot be the output of a normal mind. He's saying that Michael Matheson didn't claim the £11,000 iPad bill, even though... We've seen the expenses form and we know it was paid. Keith Brown, what goes on inside that empty shell that you call a head? Let's have a look. Now, you wouldn't think that this would be a genuine headline, but it is. Keith Brown says Michael Matheson didn't claim the £11,000 iPad bill in a laughable interview. Now, I get that sometimes reality for one person can be slightly different to another person because you're interpreting what you see in a slightly different way. But ultimately, facts are facts. And to not even acknowledge the facts goes to show that there is something deeply, deeply wrong in the mental processing of Keith Brown. I think he needs to go and seek professional psychiatric help. There's obviously some kind of cognitive issues going on where you can look at something, see it, understand it, and then deny its reality. It's the only thing. Anyway, the claims from the SMP MSP come as Michael Manson, Manson, Michael Matheson faces ongoing pressure from Holyrood to quit and answer a number of key questions like, why did you steal the money? Why did you lie about it? Why did you blame your children? Why did you get other people to lie about it? Why did you change your lie to a different lie? And why are you still lying now? Also, why are you not handing over your iPad? Can we have a look at it, please? Why not? These are all important questions. Anyway, Keith Brown, the SNP's deputy leader and moron, said that it wasn't the case that Michael Matheson claimed his now infamous £11,000 iPad dictator roaming bill. Are you kidding me, Keith Brown? Why do you think this is all going on? They're trying to deny the reality of it to try and make us forget that it ever happened, to try and make the problem go away. If we even deny it happened, then it will go away. No, Keith, that isn't how it works. And you are going to have to learn and accept that. In an interview dubbed Laughable, the MSP told the BBC that's one, that's one of the problems I would like to see cleared up because my understanding is he never claimed anything and MSPs don't. What? What? Anyway, he went on to attribute the blame to the corporate body, but did concede that there were still questions to be answered. He put the claim in. We've seen it. This was the whole point. It was seeing the claim that highlighted it and made it come out. Keith Brown, what world are you living in? Because it isn't ours. You must be on some pretty strong medication. I mean, I want to say medication, I mean like from the corner boys, not anything any doctor's given you. The controversial saga saw Mr Matheson blame his two teenage sons who he claimed watched football games while on holiday in Morocco. We have no evidence that this was the case, of course, and until he hands over the iPad for a complete inspection, we only have to take his word for it. And given how many times he's lied, I don't accept his word. I don't believe that the football was the main cause. We need to see what he was looking at on the iPad. If it was, as he says, just the football, then he has nothing to fear. And if he has nothing to fear, then he has nothing to hide. And so he can hand over the iPad. The very fact he's hiding what's on there suggests it's even more lies. Throws his children under the bus and then lies even more. What a wonderful man he truly is. Uh, he now faces a no-confidence vote, hopefully tomorrow, along with the growing pressure to face angry MSPs, which he won't because he is a moral coward. 
We know that because he blamed his children rather than standing up like a real man and saying, yes, I've done wrong, it was me, sorry, Gov, I'll pay it back. Oh, no, it was the, it was the little boys did it and ran away. Anyway, Conservative leader, Deputy Megan, uh, Conservative Deputy Leader, the other way around, Megan Gallagher said, Keith Brown repeatedly insisted that Michael Matheson was a man of integrity and honesty, while twice conceding he had lied over how his iPad bill was racked up. Not so honest, not much integrity. She said his claims were inconsistent with the SNP MSP having refused to pay a penny of his recklessly accrued £11,000 bill from his own pocket until he got found out and then was shamed into a U-turn. I don't think shamed into a U-turn, more scared for his life in case people wanted to look at the iPad. That is the problem. He doesn't want that to happen. Scared, terrified, petrified, thinking, hmm, jail perhaps. Who knows? So he created this story, blamed his children, pretended they watched football on it. But like I say, nobody knows for sure. He says, I don't know how you can conceivably rack up that kind of amount from a supplier of these services, but because of the amount, of course, it was drawn to his attention. So it wasn't the case that he claimed it. Of course it was the case he claimed it. That's why it came to light. He claimed it. If he hadn't claimed it, it would never have come to light. Uh, challenged with the fact that Mr Matheson was going to let taxpayers front the bill, he said, well, he has no, in no doubt paid in full. And as I say, I've listened to this explanation last week. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. And I realise it's not just down to me to make a judgment on that. Too bloody right. It's not down to you, mate. Uh, he said, that's why I think it's very important that somebody independent of that. The Scottish Parliament corporate body has to look at this. No, no. You want truly someone independent. A police force that is not Police Scotland needs to look at it. Get Manchester Police in. Get, you know, Lan Lancashire Police in. A non-Scottish police force. Let them go in and do the full investigation. That'll be easier for you. That way there's no possible oversight by the SNP who control justice in Scotland. Miss Gallagher added further to her statement saying the SNP deputy leader's argument that Mr Matheson hadn't technically claimed the expense was laughable when everyone knows he refused to pay a penny of his recklessly accrued £11,000 bill. Now, what Keith Brown's saying is he didn't claim the money. No, but he didn't pay the bill. And so it was, it was a debt he accrued in his name which someone else paid. That is a claim. That's a claim otherwise he would have paid it himself and not passed it on to the taxpayer. So he's claimed against the taxpayer for things he's accrued. That is a claim. Don't be hiding with weasel words, Keith Brown. You're a liar. Uh, Keith Brown says there's no shortage of opportunities for us to question Ms. Math Mr Matheson on the many unanswered questions on this scandal. So I look forward to the SNP governing, uh, government agreeing to the Scottish Conservatives' request for a parliamentary debate this week. They won't because they daren't. Uh, she went on to say he also claimed the health secretary will no longer be hiding from me media scrutiny on his day job. So the minister must start explaining how he's going to tackle the unacceptable waiting times in Scotland's NHS. Well, he can't do that either. You see, that's the trouble. He's inept, he's stupid, he's lazy and he's scared. He's deeply, desperately, desperately scared in case what's on his iPad ever gets out. Uh, she finished, Keith Brown may want to give the benefit of the doubt to a minister who lied to the country and who tried to cover it up, but no one else will. No, he's got to go. He's absolutely got to go. And Keith Brown, you can spin this how you like. You can use your weasel words. But the fact is, the man ran up a debt and he passed it on to the taxpayer. He's got to pay it himself. He claimed. He claimed because he claimed it wasn't his bill. Stop lying, you weasel. Oh, fuck it, they're all weasels, aren't they? Anyway, I'm going to stop there and come up. They're trying every trick in the book to try and make this go away. First of all, I'm drawing a line under it and we're not going to talk about it anymore. Then a lie, then another lie, then I'm blaming my children. Now you're getting Keith Brown coming out and saying, hey, look, it really didn't happen. I'm going to use like a series of words that mean nothing. But hey, at the end of it, you're all going to believe me and go, oh, it never happened then. No, no, that isn't what's going to happen. What's going to happen is he's got to hand over the iPad. It's got to be examined and he's got to do time for fraud. That's what he's got to do. Putting that claim in for £11,000 is fraud. He knows it. You know it, Keith Brown. We all know it. And let's hope it's only fraud that he's going to prison for. I'd hate to think him going to prison for anything else. 
because that would mean children suffered. I'm stopping and I'm coming up, but they're all weasels. They're all lying, thieving weasels. That's the SNP. Twisting, turning, writhing in their own filth, lies and degeneracy. Screw them all. I'm finishing. This is my last one for the day. I hope you have a great evening. Unless, of course, there's a startling revelation and we hear something. But that should be it for the day. So have a great night. I will speak to you tomorrow and enjoy your evening. Goodbye. <laughs>